Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to my channel and blog. Thank you so much for joining me. So, are you tired of the September Hero Arts card kit yet? I hope not, because I certainly am not, and I'm having a blast just making tons of cards. Okay, but this will be the last video for this set specifically. Okay, I may use it in pieces here and there, but um, the focus for these last three cards is definitely the September kit from Hero Arts. It is all things fall and fabulousness. So I'm going to first make sort of like the backgrounds for these three cards, and then you'll see them come together at the end. But I'm going to walk you through kind of how I did that. Now, I only show me doing this in multiple cards for the stamping right here because you're going to get the picture. I do everything pretty much the same at first. So I'm taking these pumpkins and I'm using the three layers. I am using the ink that came with the kit. In another video, I did not, but on this one, I wanted to. And so they matched up really well. I liked the way it turned out, both for the pumpkin and for the stem. So they really did a good job at picking out the colors and um, just making them appropriate for what they gave us. So I was really impressed with that. Here I'm going to take a mask with some full sheet post-it tape, or post-it sheets, and I am going to stamp out my little pumpkin. The little pumpkin I have, I did pull out a green from a Stampin' Up! ink spot that I had because I wanted it to be a very different color than the larger pumpkin, just to give some real variance to this picture. Now I pull this off and I do this with all three cards. Now I use the same post-it note for all three cards. I'm going to show you what happens. See how it's, it kind of seeps through? So you want to be very careful. Now I'm going to be figuring out a way to cover that up, so no harm. But just in case you don't do that, it's going to show through. So you might want to switch out your post-it note or turn it around or something. So right now I'm taking all of the leaves that came in the kit and I'm stamping those out. These are double layered, so just two layers for this. And I'm using the center, I guess it would be the spine of the leaf, the same color for all of them. So it kind of ties them together in that way. Okay, so on the three different cards, they're going to be very different layouts. One of them I am going to, as you saw me, fussy cut them out. This is how I store my ink daubers. Uh, scrapbook.com sells those like that. Very good price. They come with 40 ink daubers as well. So that's a fantastic deal for like $25. I'll link below. So I'm taking out some brown, I believe this is Crumb Cake uh, Stampin' Up ink. Any light brown will do for what I was doing. And I was just covering all of those um, leaves because I used the dyes that came with it. And I'm just putting on the edge some of that brown so they're not so white. Here I'm taking this background and I am going to ink blend as you see. I'm using fossilized amber, um, the honey color, it escapes me right now, and I do believe I bring in fired brick as well. And so you've seen me do this color combo in another card and I'm just going around and I'm ink blending until it's all smooth and beautiful. So after I get the blending that I like, I'm going to do the water droplets on this card panel. And this one I'm going to keep intact. So I'm not going to cut out the pumpkin like I did with the other one. So you're going to start to see them come together. I was having a lot of fun. I was getting very inky on this day. Uh, but for me, that bothers me not. I absolutely love to do that. It all comes off eventually. Now this background I'm doing... You'll see here, I, I've done this technique before in the past too, where I'm using, I believe, watercolor Canson XL for this one. And I, because I'm going to put a lot of water on it, so I wanted to make sure it held up. So I'm getting all my colors, same three colors on there, and then I'm just spraying that bad boy with tons of water. Now I am, still haven't tried the photo paper, as one of my subscribers suggested, to keep it shiny. So I will try that, but for this one I just use the regular Canson. You can see how much lighter it gets. Um, once you dry it completely, that's sort of disappointing, but I'm sure I can go back in and just redo it. I just did not. I've taken out one of these stencils from Hero Arts as well. This was in my stash, so I might have a hard time linking it, but any stencil that you like would do perfectly well. Just put it over it. And I'm going to use some Versamark ink, and I'm going to just smash that down all over so I can get a pattern. Like I said, pick a pattern you like and it's gonna give the same exact effect. So I'm picking this pattern here, 
and getting that all inky. Once that's done, I do check it to make sure. And then after I'm done with that, I just go ahead and clean that up with a baby wipe just to make sure that it doesn't get all gross. Here I'm taking some Recollections Gold Sparkly Embossing Powder and I am covering that whole thing with the embossing powder. Now on this one, I just used a piece of paper, funneled it right back into my jar and called it a day. There was no issue there. A lot of times I use a coffee filter. Okay, so I'm using my Wagner heat tool. Love my little friend here. And I'm just getting that all heated up and melted. And it has a beautiful, shimmery, glossy loveliness. So as you can see there. Now I had no idea what was I going to do with this panel. Do you all have that same struggle? Like, do you think you know what you're going to do and then you get to it and you're like, yep, I'm all out. All right, so I decided to chop it in half diagonally. And I'm going to use, I rarely make an asymmetrical looking card. So this was sort of out of the box for me. But I like the way the end result was here. I'm just using some Tombow to glue down those um leaves or vines, whatever they are. I am ink sponging on the outside of my pumpkin. I don't use the pumpkin for this one though. I use it on the inside, not on the outside. And then here I'm using some fun foam with the sticky adhesive and I'm just making it fit all the way up the back of this panel because I wanted the asymmetricalness, if that's a word, to pop up and to give dimension. Use some score tape on the back of that and then I'm just lining it up and pressing it down. Now I did have a little bit of a white border, so I just made sure I chopped that off so that it was all even Stevens. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, once that's done, I take the Hero Arts brown ink that came with the kit, as well as the Sentiment Autumn Greetings, and I, again, have been living on the edge in my life lately, and I decided to do that at the very end. Sometimes it's just that way. So I went with it and it worked out. So on the inside, I did use that pumpkin, those bo both of those pumpkins and just glued those down. Now here's a final touch that I do like to do occasionally. You take my glossy accents, I make some of my own little embellishments and then I take some glitter of my choice. This is Martha Stewart glitter, love it. It's super fine, I love, love, love it. And I am just going to flick off really hard to get the excess glitter off of there. And now I have my own enamel glitter dots, which I just adore. Once that's completely dry, I'll get the other specks of glitter off, but I don't wanna mess with them right now. So there it is close up for that finished card. That one was a lot of fun to do. And there's the inside. You can obviously put a sentiment in there, but I like to usually leave them blank. Next card, using the other piece. In the same place, I am going to put that on my card base, and then not so different here, but a, a different layout, if you will. I took one of these scalloped rectangles that I had in my stash. This is from a Catherine, Catherine Puller stamp of approval collection, and I cut that out. And now this, do you see this hot mess of ribbon slash twine slash craziness? I have no idea where I got that. Maybe somebody gave it to me, but I saw it and I said, why not? I'm going for it. Again, zero plan on these cards. I just was completely off the cuff. But I went ahead and wrapped that around. Now I do fix it in the end picture, you'll see, because on the left-hand side, it's not even in my brain. So I fix that later. But now I'm just using some multi-medium matte. Multi-matte medium. I gotta figure out how to remember that name. It's the glue that's great. And I'm using those little embellishment, a little sunflower embellishment that came with the kit. And I am just pressing that down. So once that's finished, I'm going to then again stamp my sentiment on the front of the card and then the inside. So what I did here was I used hello on the front. And then on the inside, I'm going to mask off the um, stamps that comes with the kit. It says, you are gorgeous, I believe. Uh, a pun but I mask off the UR and I'm just gonna use the gorgeous. So I go ahead and do that, make sure that the UR is completely clean because I do not wanna ruin my card here and I stamp it down. Now the gorgeous did not come out as gorgeous huh, 
as I would have liked. So I took my little brown journal pen here that I, I absolutely love these. I write in all my cards with these pens because I match my writing to the color scheme of the card. So I just fixed it that way. And there's the finished card. You'll see in the pictures here that I do end up fixing that left-hand side thread so that that top piece comes up just a little bit. And that's the finished card for number two. So that one was a lot of fun to do as well. And there I just placed some of those pumpkin spice scents stuff I got from AC More Red underneath. Oh, I love that smell. All right, so on the third card here, I've already glued down my leaves. I'm trying to skip steps. And I'm putting some Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen down. I am using my embossing buddy on the um, vellum that came with the kit. And then I'm going to use some gold embossing. Now, together, we are finding out if this is heat resistant because I had no idea. So I said, let's just go for it. And I took out my heat tool and it worked. It did not uh, warp up on me. So here, look away if you have an aversion to getting glue on your fingers because I'm all gluey all day long. And I am just placing that vellum right on top of there, but I need to put a heavy object on top to make sure it stays down and it glues down to that fun foam. This is some of that sticky fun foam as well, and that's going to matter for a little bit when you see me uh, right here. So I'm going to use some more of that, that twine that came with that crazy kit, and I'm putting it on there. I'm affixing my card with some fun foam, and then right here I realized, don't I forgot to put my little sign. So I had to peel it back and place the twine behind it. But that's going to finish up that card as well. And so now it looks just like a little sign hanging. You get the picture. Those are my cards. Thank you so much for joining me. If I didn't mention it already, happy world card making day to all of you. I hope that you find this to be the most wonderful excuse to stay in your craft room all day long. And if anyone wants any adulting from you, you just tell them, hello, it's World Card Making Day. Thanks so much for joining me. All things will be listed below and you can find me in other forums. Until next time, don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll see you back. Bye-bye.